Hi guys, uh, welcome. It's the same day. I'm actually going to shoot multiple episodes today. I'm going to drop one by one. Um, I did separate the video because otherwise if you make a 30 minutes video, you're not going to watch. You know, like nobody watches a 30 minutes video. Um, here we are. Today in this video, I'm going to talk about stats versus uh, stats and average vis that is minted uh, versus daily vis um, and uh, in that way you're going to get an idea about you know what sort of pega you are targeting for um, now let's go to desktop live scene and uh, we are going to share this um, thing for you yeah this is confusing don't freak out don't link into the, this data right now I'm going to explain you before before we jump in remember this stats is something coming up in the future stats still matters but right now at this present moment it's an rng which is a random number generated game so it's random um and from the past we learned something which was win rate and back in the days we used to buy pegas with highest win rate right now we are in a transition towards the future which is going to be stats so we have to live the present, right? So in this present, this is a very important, and please note this, I'm not saying that stat doesn't matter. I was the strongest believer of stats matter. If you roll back all my videos back to like uh, early March, and I was talking about this, that stats will matter one day. It's, it's like common sense. But in this video, you're going to see there is, uh, there is a way to find that perfect balance where high stats and high win rate will generate you a stable amount of this. And that's what this video is all about. So again, this tracker is available for you to visualize. Um, you would not be able to download this, but uh, this tracks will be updated. <laughs> I don't know how much more work I'm gonna do for free, but uh, this tracks will be updated because I'm trying to um, you know, send proper information. So you will see that uh, on a on a five day uh, my first stat horse which is uh, it's not 30 stat horse it's trying to it's still averaging around about 190 which is less than uh, you know last file last, like before the update it is less than that and then this is all the charts and everything so this is the amount of daily vis but let's go to this important chart charts okay so each of this peak is actually your stats each of this peak is stats okay so each of this peaks will be your stats and each of these dots is your average is your daily vis minted but each of this peak is your average daily vis so each of this peak like this one you will see this one you will see 239 so hover over it you will see 239 and when you go at the bottom these are your stats so peak is your average bottom is your stats bottom is your stats so in that way you will see that this is a 35 stat horse its average is 416 this is a 29 stats horse but its average is um average is uh, 364 i don't know why it is still writing stats but uh, i think i made a mistake in nomenclature and everything so remember remember this this might be uh, mistakenly named as stats because I should have kept it in a different metrics but yeah it's already done and I'm not going to redo it again so remember top is the is the stats bottom is stop is your average bottom is your stats that's how you're going to visualize this data Jesus Christ I've been confusing myself um, if you hover over each and every point you will see how much daily vis you're making from a 35 stat horse and 35 stat horse will be actually very good in the future too um i have no signs yet for um this 39 stats horse coming up to a very good average it's still holding its daily average so we have to wait for that future update to drop but um, based on whatever i am seeing um i will actually give it to um give it give you a one short tip marketplace try to find out at least one or two 
horses or one or two pegas at least one or two if you have a small arsenal of like 20 pegas or 25 pegas um that would give you that is a high percentage horse and high stats horse and um that will generate you on an average around about 416 fists and you can visualize this um, because I have tracked that and I have kept it up uh, for you. So standing in end of March 2022, um, the strategy without knowing the, uh, you know, the update to drop or not, the strategy might be the best and the best strategy is to pick up higher percentage, higher stat horse. That's a no, it's, a, it's just a win-win situation for you. There's no way that you lose this. And again, um, these will be updated in the future again. Um, but as you can see that um, one, two, three, four, five, you know, five of my Pegas um, sometimes do get above 400. So that's a good sign. Uh, but I am pretty sure that this is going to drop and this is going to change as we progress in the future. So, yeah, you can actually hover over this and you can check each dots for yourself. Um, you can see stats at the bottom. This is your average. Do not mix it up. I don't know why I forgot to do this, um, but I did correct that in our next video. So that will be all from the channel today. And uh, that is actually all for today's topic. And uh, again, we're going to make another video tomorrow. And in that way, you're going to know Another stat and our next stat, I'm going to share you what is going to be next, next stat, which will be overall stats versus the amount of this minted. Now, this will be an eye opener for you because at first I just showed you an average, but uh, this will be very correlated to the previous two videos that you just saw. So keep on watching um, because all these stats will be guiding you towards um, you know, like your selection of Pegas, um, your own strategies of making things work uh, for the coming like few weeks or so until and unless the new update drops. Also, guys, if you guys need any help and if you think that you do not want to do all this data and all that stuff, do not want to go through all this, remember, uh, do check out Tekaton, DM him about uh, whether you guys need any sort of help. He does private consultation and my data is shared to him. So, we always uh, you know share our data our like strategies and everything and he's going to help you out you know like if you're dropping in with a lot of money and uh, you do not want to waste your time going through all this stuff you know and just blankly you can contact him and he's going to help you out so that would be all take care see you guys on another episode i'm out